everyone welcome to the new video how to become a sql developer but what is the need of a sql developer we all know companies like ola uber facebook everything right every company has their own database and they want to find a person who can handle their data we all know data is the asset for any company so they want to have a person who has you know a good understanding of data and they can have a good take care of their data as well that's why they need a sql developer we will talk about everything what you need to become a sql developer what are the prerequisites you need to know what are the other skills also you need to know and lastly we will talk about what is the expected salary you can expect to become a sql developer But before start the video let me tell you great learning has came up with the free initiative of great learning academy where you will get almost 200 plus free courses and after complete your course you can claim your certificate as well and one more thing the main catch over here all the certificate you can use in your linkedin in your resume to show that you have actually skilled up yourself right don't forget to check out great learning all the links are already there in the description below right so let's get start with the video and before start the video do not forget to like the video and also subscribe great learning so let's get start with how to become a sql developer so let's have a look at how to become a sql developer but before becoming a sql developer you have to know what is database management system what is the need of SQL developer? So let's have a look at what is database management system. A database management system in short, which is known as TBMS, is basically a software where you can store, retrieve, define and manage your data in database. Right. So this is pretty much about database management system. Now, if we talk about what is database, so we all know all the companies like Ola, Uber and Swiggy, Zomato, like all the company has their own database. Right. So to manage those database, we need database management system and where SQL developers comes into the picture. So now we have a question. Who is a SQL developer? Right. So let's solve the question. Who is a SQL developer? A SQL developer is responsible for developing and managing the data assets of the company using structured query language. In short, which is known as SQL. In the name itself, you can understand the one thing is very clear. The SQL developer needs to know structured query language in short, which is known as SQL. So what is an SQL developer in layman term? A person who is going to take care of all the data of the company, right? And who is going to manage the data, who is going to insert the data. And also he is responsible for everything happening, the data with their company, right? So this is a SQL developer. Now we will see what is the role of a SQL developer? If you become a SQL developer, what are the things you have to cover? You have to look into. The first thing you have to look into the data modeling. You have to model the data. Yes, we will talk about that. What is data modeling? Then comes data management. Yes, first you have to make a model. Based on that model, you have to say, okay, this is my model for my database. Now I want to manage my data using this model. So yes, you have to look into the data modeling. Then you have to look into the data management. Last but not the least, you also have to look into the backup and restore the data. Yes, that's the most important part is a like role of a SQL developer. So these are the basic things you have to know as a SQL developer to handle the huge amount of data. Right. So now if we talk about how to become a SQL developer, what are the technical skills we require? First, we will talk about what are the technical skills we require. Then we will see what are the other skills you need to know as an add on to become a successful SQL developer. Right. So let's start with that. As the name suggests, you need to know SQL. But SQL is a huge thing. What are the thing you have to know? So you have to have a good hands on with SQL. The basics query, you have to be very clear with SQL. Right. So what are the types of query we have? How can you actually handle the data? How can you manipulate the data? How can you insert the data? All those things you have to know properly. Right. A good hands on as a SQL developer. 
now comes programming yes like you can like find it out any one programming language that will help you to make your database right so maybe in the back end also you need to connect few things with your database that time you have to have a good knowledge on programming as well and again last but not the least managing the database obviously so what are the things you have to know sql the basics of sql how can you handle the data a programming language for that you can connect your database and last but not the least you need to know the manage the database right so become a sql developer these are the basic technical skills you need to know so we will have a look into what are the most used database management systems we have so let's have a look at that the first comes into our mind that is mysql which is by microsoft what is mysql basically if you have a database management system and which is kindly relational database management system in short which is known as rdbms you can go for using mysql which is by microsoft again now we will talk about sql server as we all know all the companies are currently using cloud concepts what is cloud concepts has they are having lots of data they try to store their data in the cloud so that time maybe you need to use sql server they have their server where actually you can uh, you need to uh, retrieve their data you need to uh, like you know insert their data everything you need to do in the server so in that case you have to have a good understanding of different server we have in sql now if we talked about oracle oracle also is a dbms management system which is for relational database management system you can use them as well now comes postgresql we have sqlite we have mariadb so when it comes to mariadb or you can talk about no sql so this is basically one type of a sql where you don't have some time of limitations when we talk about sql there are few limitations we have in case of data size but when we talk about no sql there is no limitations for your data size you can insert any number or any you know uh, limits of data right so yeah this is pretty much about the most used database management system now if we talk about the other skills required to become a sql developer it's interesting the other skills you need to have to become a successful sql de developer so let's have a look at that the first thing you need to know that is tableau the advanced excel now i will ask me why do we need to know tableau tableau is a da data visualization tool right so if you want to actually you have done inserting of the data now what do you want you want to visualize your data how to do that the simplest way to do that tableau or you you can go for power bi as well so these are the add on if you know you can actually shine as a sql developer now comes advanced excel as we all know in the traditional methods we used to use advanced excel so if you know advanced excel if you need to actually migrate your data from excel to sql it will help you or if you want to import data from excel you can do that in sql as well so these are the thing basically it will help you to do that again there is a concepts of pivot table if you know it will help you as a sql developer now there is no sql database as we have talked about a little bit before and also the understanding of big data analytics this most advanced topics right now so if you have a good understanding of big data again so always having a add on will help you to become a most important part of the company and again a good sql developer right so yeah so now the main thing comes into our mind are soft skills required for sql developers the main thing you have to communicate if you are actually a part of company if you don't communicate with the people how do you think you can solve your problems so the main questions comes into our mind do we need to have a good soft skills to become a good sql developer the first and foremost thing the sql developer communicate with different stakeholders right they have to talk with lots of people they need to understand the different points and views to get the optimal solution for the database design 
Now comes the last but not the least point. The mainly they need to have a good interpersonal skills and also have a good ability to communicate with people. Irrespective of if you are a SQL developer or if you are a part of someone with the company, you need to have a good communication skill. If you have a good communication skill, you can actually communicate with people and you can make your work done. This is the always plus add-on advantage to become a like you know communication is a good you know strong point of yours right so these are the thing you need to know to become a successful sql developer now let's have a look at the you know formal qualification you need to become a sql developer the first thing you need to know if you are coming from a bachelor's degree you are someone who can be a sql developer now, if you're coming for a computer science background, it will always help you to become a SQL developer because already you will have a good understanding of SQL. Now comes if you're coming from statistical background. Yes, any way you are going to work with data, a statistical background or a statistical specialist always give you a good understanding of data, right? So if you are coming from a statistical background, SQL developer or the, this particular position is for you. Now comes the mathematical uh, experts. Again, if you are a mathematical expert, you again can be a good SQL developer because again, you have a good understanding of the data. Now comes data analytics. Yes, if you actually someone work with the data a lot and you know what are the thing you need to know about data, again, you are someone is go for SQL developer. Last but not the least, if you are having professional experience in SQL and RDBMS, which is Relational Database Management System, then you are the perfect fit for SQL developer. Now we will have a look at how to become a SQL developer step by step. Now, suppose you are someone from this background, right? Now you have a good hands on with SQL, but you are not certified. The second step is you have to get certified. If you have a certificate, you can actually show, hey, I have a certificate and also you can ask me, I can pass your questions. So you have the both strong ground to claim that you are the perfect person to be your SQL developer. Now, when you have a certification, you can build your own portfolio. And last but not the least, the obvious thing, you can apply for the jobs. And if you are perfect one, they will obviously hire you. Now we will have a look at from where you will do the certification. I understand certification is required, but from where you will do that? I will help you with that as well. So let's have a look at the options we have. There are lots of online options we have where you can do the certification. Maybe from Coursera, you can do the certification. From Udemy as well, you can do the certification. Now comes W3 School. From here also, you can do the certification for free. And then comes Great Learning Academy. Yes, we do have our free platform, which is Great Learning Academy, where actually you will get a free course for MySQL basics. And the link is already there in the description box. Please do check out that. And after complete your course, you can actually claim your certificate as well, right? So I hope this basically help you to, how can you start your career with SQL? What are the prerequisite you need? And also how can you do a certification as SQL? You get all the information from this video. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe Great Learning and also please do hit like the button for this particular video. And if you feel this video is going to help your friends as well, do not forget to share that. And last but not the least, the most expected part and the most, you know, awaited part we are going to talk about the salary expectation for SQL developer. If you are an entry level SQL developer, you can like easily claim three lakh to four lakh per annum, right? And if you are a mid level SQL developer, you can expect that salary will be six to seven lakhs per annum. When we talk about a developer who has a good experience on this particular field, at least for 10 to 12 years, that particular person can claim 11 to 12 lakhs per annum, right? So we have almost came to the end of this video. I hope you like it. And again, if you really feel that this is going to help you, do not forget to like it and also subscribe Great Learning. And please do let us know in the comment section what else you want to learn from us and what you feel about this video as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.